I want to show you guys a quicker and easier way to use side chaining in Ableton and you can also add it to your Ableton template to make it even faster. So normally when you would add sidechain to a track, you would for example grab the compressor, drag it onto the bass, and on the sidechain tab you would enable sidechain, select the drums, and then you can select the kick. So that's how you normally sidechain, then you set the threshold. But instead of grabbing audio from the drums, there is an easier way. I'm going to open my live template set and I suggest you do the same if you want to add this to your template. So I press Ctrl N on my keyboard and this is my Ableton template. I'm going to add a new MIDI track on the top. That MIDI track I'm going to call it Sidechain. Let's color it. And to this MIDI track I'm going to add Operator. What we're going to do with Operator is we're going to set the waveform to a noise looped, set the pitch to fixed, set the frequency to 1 kilohertz, and I like to set the level to minus 6. The final thing to do is to set the envelope to a short click. A decay of around 40 milliseconds is good. So now when you're adding sidechain to a new track, so let's add another compressor to the bass, for example, I only have to select sidechain from sidechain. This is going to make things way easier and it is going to give you a better overview of what is being sidechained by what. And you can also double this track to make one a sidechain for the kick, like this, and one a sidechain for the snare. And that's how I'm going to save this as my template. I'm going to close these again. And now when I'm sidechaining, I can simply select my sidechain kick or sidechain side snare. If you want to actually use a sidechain, you have to mute these tracks, like this, and you have to add MIDI clips to the tracks with MIDI notes on the corresponding uh, pattern. So if I have a 4 to the floor pattern, I'll just add a 4 to the floor MIDI pattern like this, and copy it, and now this is what the sidechain signal will do. If you play this, you can see it right there. Simply set the threshold and you're sidechaining. So that's it for this tip. Thank you for watching, I hope it was helpful. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. And for my longtime viewers and people that have watched my channel more, I'm going to switch things up a little bit. I want to shift my main focus to making music again because that is what I like to do and I want to start releasing some music again sometime soon. So instead I'll be making music and when I come across something that I want to share with you, I'll be making a tutorial about this. I'll try to make a video every week, but we'll see how this goes. Thank you for watching me, thank you for supporting, my name is Matt Flank, peace out.